This little boy found a large mysterious rock on the shore. Then he immediately took it home and hid it in his father's shed. When he peeled the shell off, there was a blue egg inside. But before he could finish peeling it off, his mother called him back. At night he felt quite worried so he went to the shed to check it out. As a result, he was amazed to discover that the egg had hatched. And the unknown creature had disappeared. At this time, suddenly there was a strange sound, he approached to see it. And a strange creature turned up in front of him. It turned out to be the creature hatched out from that egg. The boy hurriedly found it some food and water. The little creature started to like the look of him. Therefore, the boy decided to secretly raise this creature and name it Crusoe. This boy is Angus, he lived with his mother in World War II. One day, a troop of the Royal Artillery arrived at the house. Meanwhile, they also wanted to stay in his house. From then on, Angus had no other choice than secretly feed Crusoe in the shed. But Crusoe was very gluttonous, it ate more and more. Angus read a book which said Crusoe might be a legendary sea monster. So he immediately put it in a water bucket. As long as Crusoe stayed in the bucket, it could temporarily be safe. But one day, because of being hungry, it entered the house to find some food. As a result, he encountered a soldier's dog. Fortunately, the dog was on the chain, so Crusoe could escape. At this time, there came a scream from his sister's room, Angus hurriedly ran to check. And told his secret about Crusoe to her, he also asked her to keep it a secret. But Crusoe always shouted loudly when it was hungry, which attracted the servant's attention. He was startled when he saw Crusoe, but he agreed to help them hide it. However, he suggested Angus to bring Crusoe to a bigger place. Because it would grow up very fast, and they couldn't keep the secret anymore. One day, when they went out and forgot to lock the room, Crusoe snuck out again. The dog from earlier smelled it and chased after it. Crusoe was chased all around the house, the whole house became a mess. What's more, they ruined the soldier's party. In the end, Crusoe ran out of the house and disguised himself to escape from the dog's pursuit. Crusoe became bigger and bigger so Angus decided to bring it to the lake. Angus had to do it because Crusoe's existence would soon be discovered if he continued living here. Until one day, when two drunk guys were fishing on the lake. Their rod was suddenly pulled. One of the men was about to use a net to catch the fish. Unexpectedly, a giant strange creature emerged from the water making him panic. He immediately told his friend to cut the rod. But that guy thought him was drunk so he refused to do it. Thanks to that refusal, they could travel around the lake on speedboat. So scared the men were, they had to cut the rod. After returning to town, they told other people that they had seen a monster in the lake. However, everyone thought that they were drunk and mistaken. After a few days, Angus left his house to visit Crusoe. But this time, Crusoe had grown up very huge. It allowed Angus to ride on its back and together, they swam and dived underwater. From then on, Angus usually went to the lake to visit Crusoe. Until one day, the artillery set up a battery near the lake. They wanted to practice in the lake, Angus immediately stepped up to stop them. No matter how hard he tried to convince his mother and the captain. They ignored his words and decided to practice in the lake. As a result, poor Crusoe was attacked. That night, Angus and the servant went to the lake to look for Crusoe. But because of the attack, Crusoe lost its mind. It became angry and uncontrollable. Crusoe was so frightened and almost harmed Angus. After that, it went crazy and returned to the lake. The drunk guys who had seen Crusoe wanted to become rich out of it. So from that day on, they went to the lake every day to take photos of Crusoe. When they failed to see him again, they decided to create an imitation. Which resulted to real-life picture of the famous Loch Ness Monster. And this news interested the army. So they decided to venture out on the lake at night to kill the monster. They also brought the dog that could smell Crusoe. The dog's barking attracted the soldiers and Angus's attention. Crusoe came out of the water and ate the dog alive, it became quieter then. The soldiers found it wrong and prepared to retreat. Suddenly Crusoe turned up and attacked them. The people hurriedly called for reinforcements. In the end, Crusoe capsized their boat. Then he lifted the soldiers up and threw them on the shore. It didn't harm them at all. Meanwhile, the captain and Angus's mother also came there. A giant creature appeared in front of them. Both of them couldn't believe in what they saw. The legendary monster did exist. When they were still surprised, the soldiers on the shore suddenly started firing at them. Angus hurriedly rode on Crusoe's back and intended to run away. The captain immediately got back to prevent them from attacking. But it was too late. Moreover, the communication equipment was also broken. The people had to get on a boat to chase after Crusoe. But the soldiers on the shore tried to attack more even though they saw the captain's boat. Seeing that, Angus persuaded Crusoe to swim far and leave the lock for shelter and safety. At this time, the people pulled up a barrier net to prevent Crusoe from escaping. 
Fortunately, the soldiers eventually saw the captain's boat and stopped attacking. But their way was blocked. When Angus's mother and other people arrived, she told Angus to let Crusoe leave. He couldn't leave and live in the water with Crusoe. Therefore, Angus had to accept fate and say the last goodbye to Crusoe. When Angus got on the boat, Crusoe also dived down and swam to the net. After that, Crusoe jumped over the barrier net and escaped from the lake. Finally, it could return to where it should be. Learning that Crusoe could get out, the people cheered happily. The days after that, Angus went to the lake every day to wait for Crusoe. But it might never come back again. His mother comforted him. Suddenly, the sister ran in and told Angus that Crusoe was back. They stood on the shore watching him from afar. Crusoe was born a sea creature so he belonged to the sea, it was also the best place for him. From then on, no one saw the sea monster again. The movie returns to present day. On the shore, there is a little boy discovering a mysterious egg. Do you think it is Crusoe's descendant? Please leave your comments below. Goodbye and see you in other videos.